This is Mark Feldman, Super Training Gym, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West, and today we're going over the Spoto Press. I got uh, 345 pounds on here, and we're trying to make sure that we reverse the weight before it ever touches our t-shirt. The reason I wanted to make this video is because I see a lot of you jackasses on Instagram and on YouTube messing up these Spoto Presses. The Spoto Presses came from inside the walls of Super Training Gym and was invented by myself, even though I wasn't the one to actually perform it. Eric Spoto is the one who performed it, and I coined it that. He didn't even know he was benching that way, but I noticed it, and I noticed it was something that helps his benches. Keep in mind that Eric Spoto did not use it as like a tool. Uh, he didn't necessarily use it as a tool the way that a lot of us are implementing it, which is every like four or five, six weeks, he trained this way all the time. This just happened to be the way that he bench pressed. That's why it's a Spoto press, named after Eric Spoto, 722 pound bench pressing machine. Guy was unbelievable. He had like 22 inch arms, he was friggin' strong as shit. <clears throat> but I noticed that Eric, when he would bench, especially with the lighter weights, he would bench like a bodybuilder. But he would also have this really good arch and be in this really good, powerful power lifting position where the elbows were still in. So he would bench like a bodybuilder in a sense that the rhythm and the connection to the bar was always there. He was, uh, he kept the tension on the entire time like a bodybuilder. Whereas a power lifter might lay down and just throw the weight up and get the weight off of him because you want to get it over with as quickly as you can. A bodybuilder, they kind of want that time under tension. And I recognized that Eric Spoto was bench pressing that way. And I thought, wow, this is really unique. This is different. I have never seen anybody do this before. And Eric would bring the weight down. He would stay so tight that he was able to reverse the weight before it ever even touched his t-shirt. Most of us will bring the weight down because in a power thing competition, we have to touch our chest. We have to get a pause. We have to wait for the ref, who might take like a half an hour to say press, right? And when he says press, we push the weight up and we hopefully we lock it out and we get the lift, right? Well, Eric has ne never competed before. He benched over 700 pounds without ever even stepping uh, onto a platform, which is kind of crazy. He didn't even know he was strong enough to compete. <laughs> but not only was he strong enough, he's the strongest, one of the strongest benchers of all time. But anyway, when I was watching him do this technique, I thought, man, this would be kind of cool to implement for myself and implement for my team. So I called it the Spoto Press just for communications purposes. It was easy to tell my team, let's do the Spoto Presses. So we started to incorporate them and sure enough, our benches started to go up. But it has to be done the right way. I see a lot of people doing half presses. A half press is way different than a Spoto Press. A half press is where you bring the weight about halfway down and you just reverse it and press back up. And I see a lot of people that are staying loose the whole time and they're just kind of going like this. It's not, that is not a photo press. Lock your shit in the right way. Stay tight, stay connected to the bar. Lower the weight under control, and when you press, press with your pecs, press with your shoulders, and press with your triceps. Press with your muscles. You're not just pushing with your lats, as you hear a lot of power lifters say, right? <clears throat> we're trying to use our entire body when we're bench pressing, and you want to make sure that you're actually flexing the muscles in the case of the photo press. So here we go. Enough talk, it's time to get it done. You're gonna notice for today I'm wearing the hip circle as well. You can pick yours up at markbellslingshot.com. A little cheap advertisement uh, blended into the mix of the things, but I see a lot of people losing a lot of strength from their legs when they're bench pressing. They're not staying connected to the bar, and this gives us just another means to stay connected to the bar. If the knee caves in, if we uh, internally rotate here, we internally rotate here, right? If this caves in, if this caves in on a squat, what happens to us? We go whoop, right? Lower back, we end up in flexion. Internal rotation and flexion of the spine. Internal rotation, flexion of the spine. Get it? Boom, like this, right? Nope, that's not how we bench press. We're gonna be boop and then bam, right? Out here. We wanna be out here like this, locked and loaded, okay? So here we go. It's also gonna help you to keep your legs involved in a lift the entire time because when I feel the knee start to cave in, I can push out. You're supposed to force your knees out when you bench press. So here should be a well-executed uh, Spoto press, although the weight is getting up there and ready for me. So let's see. Let's see what we've got in the old tank here, Zarmagoza. Let's go. Come on, Bill. Here we go. Go, Mark. Up, up, out, release. <laughs> That's how you do a photo press. You could even hear the weights kind of shift 
a little bit. They made a little clank because I was pushing up uh, with a lot of effort and a lot of force and I was doing that kind of bodybuilding, kind of pumping rep. Let me just show you with a lighter weight so you really get the picture. Let's just get two plates on there real quick. Right quick. Get that arch locked in. You can work on your form and technique while you're doing this as well. Up, up, out. Come on. Here you go, Mark. Come on, Bill. Holy crap, Ola. <laughs> oh my God. I can't show you anymore because I got, ain't got nothing left. That's how you do a photo press. That's the way it should be done. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you guys later.